So here we are with the Tuono 660. Jeez, I'm gassed. I'm excited for this. It's gonna be nice to be on a smooth bike for once. No vibes. 2022. Is it 22? 22, yes sir. Startup, lovely screens. Well, that's nice to look at. They are very nice. That's just for your quick shift to just tell you it's active ABS like traction control. Has lights. it got up and down or is it yes, just sir, up and down with? Oh, them. really? So that'll all be on there for you. ABS traction control lights, they also turn up and you set off. You've got a mode button under here. Yep. So you've got your commute, your dynamic, your individual. Your where, where's it going to tell you where you're in the mode? Uh, on, on the top of it. So oh, individual package. commute dynamic, yeah, yeah. So we hold that in, takes us into the menu. So Aprilia, so you've got your engine management, engine brake, and traction control, wheelie control, ABS. Yep. You can edit anything you want on your individual side. The top two, you can only edit your traction control levels on. But we'll start you on like dynamic in the middle, and obviously individual, someone's turned everything off. So uh, this is all custom settings? Yes, that's all okay. custom settings, so you can edit anything you want on that. The lower the number, the lower the setting. The higher the number, the higher, the more intrusive. Okay. But we'll go dynamic in the middle, and then if you want to drop to individual while you're out, that's going to kill you with the control and bring everything right down as well, so you can have a bit of fun there. I'll right? try. Contain myself. No, no, drop backs. <laughs> Cruise control on these is standard. Switch to the left for a couple of seconds. Green light comes on in the symbol there. You need yeah. the fourth gear or higher. As long as you're at speed you want, let you tap And that's once. cruise control, this yep. one. Boom. Tap it once to the left. Fourth gear or higher. Yep, that locks it. And, and, and I push it upwards? Plus or minus. You can actually increase oh. and lower the speed while you're going along while the cruise control sets. So, so if I slap that into cruise control upwards, that, that so goes so cruise? Hold, yeah, cruise there. So you hold it to the set. Oh, to the left is yeah, cruise yeah, control. To the left for a few oh, seconds, okay. And then let's tap it once and that'll lock it in. And then you can plus or minus that speed. And then either hold it across to cancel it, clutch in, brake in, throttle off. Any of those will cancel it off instantly. Otherwise, they're pretty straightforward from that point. Usual indicators, horn situation, everything is normal. It's already had its first service, so it's already running as well, so you don't have to be gentle to it. You what are the tyres like? Tyres are pretty good, no one's had them very far over yet. Well, these things are very confident and smart, they handle. You got any direction you recommend me going? Yeah, I'd go out of here, go right. The main thing is don't go left because it takes you to Peterborough and it's no fun. Yeah, yeah, I did want to kind of try it out around some, but I guess I'll get the yeah, villages. You double back, you can go and have a little run through. Yeah, yeah. Stuff. I do need to find my gloves though. Very, very confident to spy. You'll find yourself just throwing it into corners before you know it. <sighs> it's a pretty nice riding position. Really comfortable. The seat's kind of brilliant. wider than like the MT is actually other than the MT10. But I'm what, 5'11? Yeah. Flat foot. Yeah. That's nice. Knees bent. Right, how do we work these things? Do I say a magic word and it turns on these days? <laughs> Straight <laughs> Load up. Straight down on that switch, yep. Yeah. Just hold it down? Yep. Yeah. There you go, you're good to go, sir. Cool. Nice. Enjoy Sounds it. lovely. We'll Thank you, man. We'll do a swap over with the V4. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Cheers, mate. Well, thank, you. thank you. Where's the pegs on this thing? Oh, they're, <laughs> they're much nicer than the, than the V4, though. Fro V4s, yeah, yeah. Now, these are nice. All right, cool. Let's have a go on this, then. Where's the bike? Oh, road bikes feel so nice. Cheers, mate. See you soon. Where's the foot brake? Oi, this is so friendly. This is easy to ride. The, the foot brake's not inspiring me to do any wheelies. And my nuts are getting crushed. Oh, he's looking at me like I'm... Ah, oh, my pussy. Uh, anyway, let's go mature motor vlog mode and do this review. This is just making me want to... I know. No, oh, this is lovely, guys. If I'm like overhyped, I'm not overhyped. I'm, I'm just so gassed because I haven't been on a road bike properly. Obviously, I've been on <laughs> brat mode. You're watching a supermoto hooligan live in the. Am I in neutral? No, I'm in second. No, I'm in first. Come on, you're not a dirt bike. No, I'm in second. Now I'm in neutral. Ah, oh, now the, now the light goes green. Of course. Jesus, and we got the Brembos for the Endos. Wow. 
Oh, it's got a uh, shift on the way down as well. Uh, are we good when we stand up? So what I'm feeling is, ah, see that's better. Got to have a little bit of tightness in the legs, I think. I've got to hold my nuts back from the tank because they was getting sandwiched. So far though, guys, obviously I've only just ridden down the road for five minutes, but flawless. Where's the foot brake? Where is the foot brake? Oh, it's there. I wasn't even on it. I did have a list of things written down. Suspension. Let's go with that. Oh, let's not get caught speeding while we're at it either. It feels weird doing this in a dirt bike helmet. I probably look so out of place. Yeah, suspension. That feels very firm. But I will say what it does feel like. I do need to go over some bumps. We got indicators on here. Yeah, that's right, guys. I'm on the 2 0 now. I should have put my goggles up. Uh, my helmet blew off. <laughs> the quick shifter and, and the auto blipper touch me. <laughs> you know, that's just a... Uh, Autopilot mode. So I don't exactly know where I'm going right now. I don't want to run out of fuel. I know that for a fact. Uh, I feel like my cards are blowing out of my pocket. My phone's falling out of my other pocket. Let's try the brakes. Oh my god, right there. And then it, it needs to be a little bit, I don't know what the word is. It's got a quick shifter. It needs to be high in the RPMs, is what it feels like for the um, for the uh, for the for the blipper. Yes! Oh yes! Give it to me! <laughs> I'm shifting, I'm rev matching, it's got a blip off. What gear am I in? Fourth. Oh, I was talking about suspension. Suspension right now is feeling perfect. You gotta think, this is obviously made for, it's kind of a beginner target audience. That car looks suspicious. That's so annoying. It's on my wheelie road. Where's the foot brake? bike feels feels set up for what it's for which is a beginner rider a beginner would get this with a beginner with deep pockets semi deep pockets deep pockets to me put it that way i'm probably the average person um all good credit anyway i don't even know the starting price of this thing is on the screen now it's perfect for who it's made for power delivery is not it's not intimidating at all it can be babied it can be cruised what's going on a boat party the clutch is so lightweight, it's just effortless. And being at, let's see how slow we can go. 35 miles an hour near enough in sixth gear. Rolling on, bit chuggy, obviously as expected, but that's good fueling right there. This would be very friendly to do everything you need to do around town, commute to work, a beginner rider trying to be on something flashy but inspire confidence at the same time. Perfect. If you're a beginner, you can spend a couple years on this, no problem. And get a lot out of the bike. That's a uh, a good point to make this bike you can get a lot out of a lot what the, you can get a lot of what this bike has to offer out of it on the street to get everything you need to obviously go to a trek but for what this bike has to offer you will be having a such a good time every time on the roads and i've not felt any discomfort yet the seat in position the riding position is it's that aggressive ish in the legs not race bike but it's semi-aggressive in the in the legs, in the feet position, whatever you call it, in the foot pegs. I don't even know what gear I'm in. Oh, nice, you got a gear indicator. 
We're not on a supermarket. Oh, I've lost what I was saying now. Oh, and then the handlebars are perfect. Perfect. I take it if the V4 factory is the RS V4 with handlebars, this must be the RS660 with handlebars. And to me, this, so far, I could ride this all day. It did actually say, yeah, we can ride that off for the day. Um, take which one you want. You want the V4? I was like, I, mean, I don't need it a day, but... That's all the Oh my God, the bumpy roads, the monocle's helmet, and we got slow symbols. Why are you telling me to go so slow right now? Ramps, ramps. Ooh. Yes. Um, switch gear, what's going on? Let's have a little look. Where's the horn? Do we have a horn? Yes, love to see that. Can we change mode whilst we're riding? We can. What gear am I in? Ooh. I hate this turn. Let's see if it power wheel. dealership <laughs> you need to why you need to give it beans in third where's the power band yeah she ain't coming up in third guys if you want to wheelie this even second has it changed that enough? does this guy have wheelie anti wheelie on or something in his individual settings I don't know what settings this guy has got on in his uh oh my nuts Nice on the flipper. Oh my god. The brakes are right there. Does that mean I've got full beam on or what? How many miles do I have in the tank? I'm gonna put a fiver in. I don't know what gear I'm in. I forgot I've got gear indicator. So now we have a nice cruise through the village. And this is perfect. Mm. It's a bit cramped around the nuts area. It's the one thing you're probably gonna have to look out for. The problem is if you ride supermoto, then you just you've got big balls. That is how it is. So if you're coming from supermoto or you own a supermoto, you might need to free up some space. <laughs> fucking <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing I'm indicating with my arms like I'm what's going on I'm just parking up is that going to get me a fine neutral two hours later insane I'm very impressed but remember oh you do have a fuel gauge as well amazing you got your temperature there ish your little temperature like gauge gear indicators what more could you ask for? Literally, what more could you ask for? I don't know what any of this switch gear does, but I think people focus on the wrong things these days. This has enough tech. You've got three modes for a beginner as well, or someone who just wants something more, more usable in the street, because I'll take it, we're gonna take the V4 out soon, but I can only imagine how unusable the bike is around town and doing daily errands on a V4. What's that about? Probably can be done. It definitely can be done, but we'll see. I could be completely wrong. Anyway, let's focus on the, the 660. What I'm trying to say is you don't need any more than what this is. You've got three modes. You've got a friendly mode. You've got a standard mode. <laughs> um, and then you've got a custom mode, which you can fully go into and custom. How do we get there? Let's have a look. Let's explore this. Oh, so you've got all this stuff. It's tell you average fuel, average miles per gallon. What I've just done, 49 miles per gallon. 
So yeah, you could ride this all day and not go broke. Max speed, did I do 122? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Someone else has done this. What else is going on on here? So that's just up and downs. You do have cruise control here, which I don't really have any, I do have somewhere to test that out hopefully on the way home. That's how you change mode. So you've got commute, dynamic, individual, AWC disabled. I don't know what that is. It's an anti-wheelie control. It didn't feel very anti-wheelie control disabled, but like I said, I ain't got too much road bike experience at the moment. We're gonna try commute on the way back. Or on the, I don't even know where this road takes me, but we need to get to a petrol station as well. I don't know why all these lights are flashing at me right now. Where's the foot brake? A 45 minute hour ride is nowhere near enough time to get a good feel of the bike. But what I will say, from first impressions, I'm being on this bike, what? How do I go cruise control? Oh, we've got a roundabout coming up. But yeah, being on this bike, what, 45 minutes? It feels like I stole this bike six months ago and I've been riding it daily since. That's not that I steal bikes. I'm not completely against bike theft, obviously. But the way I feel like I can ride this, like I feel like I can really do some, some damage on this bike right now. Ah! Oh my god! It's the best feature ever on a motorbike! Ah! I can do the swim! I can front crawl! I can shadow box! I can, I can play uh, Apex! What more could I do? I can take a piss! What the fuck? Can I stand? No, no, I'm getting carried away on a 10 grand bike right now. <laughs> if I pull the brake, pull in the clutch is what we do. Oh yes, I miss having access to the power of a road bike. Now, let me tell you guys, anyone thinking about buying this bike for the first 45 minutes, my first impressions, I've never ever got on a bike and had this feel from it. I've obviously not been on road bikes for a while for my camera died. But if you're thinking of buying this, you're thinking of buying it for a reason. And most likely, it's because you're a beginner, or because you're trying to take the next step up from a 125, or because you need something more usable. Look no further. Let's actually ride this thing. I'm having such a great time, guys. I'll say that. I'm getting, I'm getting nods from the road bike riders. Yes! Look at that one finger. Look at that braking power. It's double Brembo's on the front disc. I don't, it's not one disc with two Brembo calipers on it. It's not a stump brake set up on the front. Um, imagine that. No, that you can't, this is... Anyway, double discs, double Brembo calipers, Brembo's on the back. Don't even make me piss my pants. This is a ridiculous bike. It's just, it's perfection. You couldn't do no more, you couldn't ask for no more, no way. If you ask for more, like what more could you get? The only thing that I would add to this bike, maybe, which I wouldn't, but the only thing that would, kind of have a place on this bike is a seat massage so you get a butt massage now i'm saying it out loud though that sounds kind of weird because if you sit on the seat in the wrong place some of you don't might get excited here i am paying for first rides does this guy know who i am is he tend the good one or the bad one i want the cheap one is this petrol imagine i put diesel in the demo bike rest in peanuts huh uh, yeah. Are you Mr. Bats? No. Nope. Oh, I thought you were someone I know. Guess again. He always comes here outside. Who, Mr. Braps? <laughs> He's gonna laugh that you thought that. Oh, f that bike helmet. He's gonna laugh that you thought uh, I was him. Why, do you ride him? Yes. No. Does he mean his videos? Yeah. Yeah. Who am I then? I don't know you. This sun is hitting! Alright, what's going on? What gear? Oh, we're in commute, I forgot. Maybe I should change back to... Let's go dynamic. Oh, I don't know if that's... Oh, yes! Double Brembo's. Oh. Jesus! Give me one of these for Christmas, Santa Claus. Put the goggles on. It was so weird saying that when I'm on a road bike. Where's Sainsbury's? Can't remember how to get there. Let's go down the main road. Great time. Power roller. 
on in fifth gear. On this, if you're going to overtake, not all the time, but if you do want that power, you're going to have to drop a gear if you want to disappear. Maybe two gears. On the litre bikes, you're probably not going to have to do that. And I realised I've gone the wrong way. There's always traffic this way. Now's a good time to test out how it is at slow speeds, though. Let's uh, pop up back into commute. see how different that is. yeah there's definitely that definitely smoothens it out that was first gear yeah commute's a lot more tame not a lot more but noticeably tamer it needs pipes on it definitely let's see how it's like going through tight spaces not good I hope he can stop in time. Yes, I didn't get flattened. I could hold the clutch all day. The clutch is so nice. And I also forgot to say, this must be ride by wire throttle. It feels very electronic. Doesn't feel, doesn't have that. It kind of does. Nah, it doesn't. It doesn't have a raw feel to it. It has a, a very, very, very refined feel. I'm being honest, guys, I could ride this bike all day. All day, no problem. I could own this bike. Never had a first impression like this. Yeah, those shifts would feel so nice with a uh, exhaust on it. Here we go, boom, 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 boom. Yes, I'm getting turned on by my imagination. Look at that little cruise, the slightly forwards position. Like, it get you got the mix. You can hold the hold bars. You can do the old tank lean like a sport bike rider would do. You got the, you know what I mean, the palm on the tank. Let's see how she flicks about. Ah, the blipper's not as bad as I thought, actually. You just got to, um, I don't know what the indicator is. Oh, she would pop so nice with an exhaust. Oh, I want a road bike. Yeah, the blipper, you just got to put a bit of pressure on it. That's all. Boom. No problem with the blipper at all. Sorry, Aprilia, for insulting you earlier. I didn't really insult you, but I didn't give you the credit you deserved on your blipper. If I had this as a road bike, yeah, I'd probably go broke. I'd be on it all day. And then when I wasn't on this, I'd be on a supermoto. I'd definitely go broke. Guys, subscribe to my channel so I can uh, ride bikes all day, every day, and bring you a lot of content you really want to see and not some bot riding a bike around. Going, mm, this is actually 58 centimeters from the ground and it got 15 horsepower, more than the 2018 bike. F off and ride the bike. It's Mr. Braps! It's weird seeing you on the road bike. The front profile is nice. It's grown on me. The look has grown on me completely from how much I enjoy riding the bike. Mm. Jump on it. Whoa, it actually looks sick. Like with someone on it. A few moments later. See how she goes around the car park. Probably should have gone the right way so I don't get splattered. Nice visit from Mr. Braps. Let's go get the V4. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Screaming and shouting. Everyone can hear me. We can see the shifter. If I just put a little bit more pressure, boom, down to second, down to first, no problem. What the f We should have had a fed car. <laughs> Auto blipper, no problem. Quick shifter, no problem at all. Premium feel to the ride, start to finish. Really enjoyed it. Oh, it's all good. We got the double Brembos. The most important thing is being able to stop fast, not go very fast. You know, that is important, but it's more important if you've got a fast bike that you've got good brakes. Can I feel around this? Is he going or is he, what's he doing? Wait, how's oh, he going in there? Oh, he's reversing in there. Guys. Let's just appreciate how much pressure this guy is under right now. Look how much traffic. Both sides. Decent gap 
to get in but still i've never ridden the lorry i don't think anyone's ridden the lorry i've never driven a lorry um i take it that's a very hard skill might not be the hardest thing but to do it under all the pressure of what 30 cars in both directions in three directions give the lorry drivers time this guy's probably just driven hours and hours and hours you know no that guy could have just driven from germany just to drop off a couple crates oh i'm going in here <laughs> indicating my hands so yeah guys come down to wheels neutral off the off the blipper neutral where are you i really don't feel comfortable reversing it in there should i give it a go probably it's just polite i feel like i'm doing what that lorry driver just done oh shit oh my days amazing bike amazing Absolutely brilliant bike. Love them. amazing experience so on that it was just perfect it's not too much. as soon as i got out of it what i was saying it felt like i stole it six months ago and i've ridden it every day since and i don't and i didn't pay a penny for it Do you know so, so confidence inspiring yep. That's amazing like, yeah, that, honestly, just be dumping that thing into corners. it loves it yeah i put a fiver in the tank because i wasn't actually put, put, put a bit in there so that one's got a couple of bars oh you got her out and ready guys this is next video make sure you subscribe with notifications so you don't miss the bigger brother because yeah yeah i'm excited for that one i've got to actually slap this on oh, charge we'll yeah we'll, go, wacky on we'll go inside so guys if you do want to say it here in peterborough wheels make sure you shout matthew number contact um email is on the screen and in the description subscribe